sound of this. Would have gotten in here. Right, I'm saying. Simmer down. Something happens. We get split up. We meet there. O one Gila Dam. All right. All right. Hey guys, and welcome back. So I was attacked by this cougar on the way over. Just in time, Mr. Morgan. It feels like now. Oh, I ain't never normally scared, but it feels like now it's only a matter of time. It'll be okay. Thank you, Arthur. You sure? No. I'm very into my craft at the moment, Mr. Morgan. I'm very happy to make you something if you bring me the right material. I'm sure that I'm really proud of you. You've grown into a fine man. I reckon I need to get my hands on some materials first. Josiah? I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. But I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no let's not get over sentimental. Well, oh, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time... He must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got... I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. Nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. Dutch should not have gotten involved. My son has a mind of his own. Too much so, in fact. 
I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. Be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. This way. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so this looks like the camp. Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Um... <coughs> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. What is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. Uh, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I am confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. Keep breaking peace treaties we've made causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So let me be very... Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're a gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, <gasps> Rains fall. Exactly. Chief Rains, the thing it's quite is, a cough. Federal government. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to he's going to make a disgrace of him monroe he seems likable enough for a west pointer why you know what favors is like because he thinks it's right because he thinks monroe is a patsy or a spy he's convinced he had something to do with those vaccines getting stolen 
He thinks Monroe is gonna force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason and hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. You know what they say about him. High tail Favors. The man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate... Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> so I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan, too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. All right, Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. I, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shall kill you. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Okay, that kind of went as expected. Get off me! I got a shot. Open fire! Damn it! I really should have just shot him. Okay, so there's people coming now. Oh fuck! Damn it, I couldn't get him no matter how hard I tried. Oh, damn. Charles must have got him. Oh, fuck. Thought he was dead. Oh my god, this is not going well for me at the moment. Alright, I'm gonna hop off this horse. Son of a bitch. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, that was a nice hold. Damn it. Okay. I still think I missed him, son of a... Alright, there we go. Oh man, come on. Give us a break. Damn it, get down.
Damn it. Just missed his head. Oh my god. My timing is so off at the moment. At the moment I'm trying to... I'm trying to play this with... Um, listen to the audio through my capture device. And because I don't want to use Elgato's um, software because I've had issues it wasn't recording the the audio not really sure why but it wasn't recording the audio so I had to pretty much switch over I'm using multiple different softwares at the moment um, I've been using OBS for a while I've been using XSplit as well a little bit I like XSplit because you can you can pause the recording if you have to take a long journey, whereas you can't do that in, uh, in OBS. And right now I'm using Action. Now I've had issues with Action before in the past. I'm hoping that... Oh, fuck it. That I don't have the same issue this time. Audio went out of sync before for me. Um. Yeah, but at the moment listening to the audio through the device itself or well through the software uh, there's a bit of a delay so it's a little bit tougher trying to trying to get the um, the, the shots on target what do we do now you get out of here fast take it to the station I can't so I know I could use uh, the the I've Xbox army, itself man, to listen life. to the audio but the problem is trying to hear my voice when you have headphones on. It's actually really hard trying to talk into the microphone. Make sure you're not shouting. I guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. Okay, so I actually have no idea where we're going now. Could be going back to camp. Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet you back at camp. <coughs> Reverend? Reverend. What are you doing here? Um, I'm leaving. Running away? I suppose so, yes, I'm running away. I tried to make Dutch see sense, but he's... He's very strange recently. And the women? Little Jack? You leaving them? I told them to run too. I asked them to come with me, but they wouldn't. I'm changed. I'm a changed man, Arthur. I, I can't die for a bunch of nonsense sprouted by a fool. <sighs> I understand. You're... Well, you're, you're not a good man, Arthur, but you're not all bad, either. Everything will be... Your journey, your path will be just fine. I'm worried my path is coming to an end, Mr. Swanson. Maybe. 
I've felt that way for a long time about myself. I mean, but, but you'll do what's right. I don't know about that. I do. Save who you can and let the rest rot. And look after yourself. Maybe. We'll see. You do see. You just can't quite admit it to yourself. All aboard! Be well, Reverend. All aboard! You too, Arthur. Sure. Good luck out there. You lived your life like a man, Arthur, and you turned into a good man. If we were all like you, things might have turned out differently. You're getting mighty sentimental, Reverend. Yeah, okay. Needless to say, we done terrible in that mission. So I think it's there's only one story mission available at this moment. And that's where I'm headed next. But I won't show that until the next video. So please guys, leave a like for the video if you liked it. Feel free to leave a comment and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more.